Operation Sheep Ship. Today, the Game and Fish Department captured more than 40 big horns using helicopters and some careful aim. It's all part of a plan to keep the population thriving by spreading them around. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is here with more. Kim, this morning alone, a dozen bighorn sheep got a first class one way ticket to a new home, a home that didn't exist more than three years ago. In the Wheeler Peak Wilderness, north of Taos, a unique rescue operation has been going on. The helicopter leaves empty and comes back with some unusual cargo bags of bighorn sheep. When they land, a team moves in. After a short stretcher ride or a more personal lift, they get a weigh in and much more. They drop blood so we can do some uh, disease testing. And then. One, two, they schlep the sheep into the sheep shipper, bound for the southern Hemez Mountains. But why do they do all this? It's because of a bighorn problem in one place and a new opportunity in another. At Wheeler Peak, the grizzly bears and the, the wolves aren't there anymore. So the populations tend to grow very large. What will happen is if you have a bad winter, now you're limited in food resources and you have a lot of sheep, so you'll get a lot of die off in the winter. Meanwhile, a new habitat was created about 90 miles away in the Jemez. After the Los Conchas fire tore through more than 150,000 acres there a few years ago. The burn scar left behind is actually the perfect place for bighorns to roam. It's a really exciting opportunity to start a new herd. So far since Monday, Game and Fish has moved more than 40 sheep into the Jemez, a new start after what has to be the strangest ride of their lives. You may wonder how they catch those sheep. Game and Fish says it lures them underneath a big drop net with salt licks, alfalfa, and even potato chips. It'll catch them in the net, tie them up, so they're ready for that helicopter ride. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, state biologists believe the new Hemis herd will eventually expand into the Bandelier National Monument and White Rock Canyon area. All of the sheep are getting radio collars so scientists can better study them. The son of an